Hello everybody, this is Rasla and I will be your host for the couple of upcoming runs. Which one is the first of, uh, it will be Grumpmeister with Saku. But first we have a 2 euro donation by Hapkeine Name saying Luigi Biz band number 3. And with this, Mario is in the lead again. But without further ado, good luck Grump. Thank you, Ursula. Oh, wait, I do hear myself right now. Ooh, what happened there? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> well, it's fine. I mean, I'm just going to get started uh, on this. <laughs> Welcome to the Meister block. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm joined here by Foxmeister <laughs> and Lincoln Meister. We are all Meisters. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to kick this off uh, with Saku. It's uh, a homebrew game for the Atari Lynx. Um, it's a bit of a Mega Man style in the sense that you can just pick your own level uh, to start with, except it doesn't give you any upgrades, so we're just going to get started. Can I get a countdown? Sure. Three, three, three two, two, one, go! go. Alright, so as you can see, uh, Saku is a shoot 'em up. Ooh. Like, you can just fly around a little bit, uh, and you have to deal with the uh, enemy waves. But unlike most. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, that was spawned really weirdly. Uh, unlike most uh, shoot 'em ups, you can uh, speed up the, the waves by just clearing uh, clearing them as quickly as possible, or <laughs> dealing with them in a way to uh, yeah generally speed up the whole game. So I'm just clearing out some uh, enemies here and there, uh, make sure that I don't get hit, because yeah, the less damage you take, the better. I. To uh, show off a bit of what we can do, we have a, a clapping shield, which is uh, insanely powerful, except, yeah, it needs to charge for quite a while. Oh, and this first boss, the business fish. Business fish, wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's just on his way to business with his guns and whatnot, but, yeah, I, I mean, and he's dead. I mean, the availability for your run was on weekdays, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he just came back from work and just you know, ran into us. So, um, yeah, I use uh, one of uh, Saku's different weapons there, which is uh, the Back Blaster. And that one does a lot of damage, but uh, yeah, obviously you need to be behind the enemy. And we're going to be using that a lot on bosses and on the other enemies where we can, because yeah, it just deals a ton of damage. And I'm just going to go through these waves a bit here. Um, you s notice the collectibles that I pick up. Uh, those are... Uh, if you collect eight of them, you uh, get the... Um, uh, enable a button to heal up a bit. We're not going to use it too much, but it's a, just a, generally a nice backup to have. And this is some sort of turtle. And we are on to the next boss already, the, which is uh, Eremsha. Eremsha will always be the second boss of a stage. But always in a different yeah, look, or it's always a different fight. So here she can uh, yeah, shoot her gun. There's three different patterns. Well, we already saw two of them. The other one is just a straight line. And we're just avoiding it as we go. <laughs> and at one point she will start uh, charging her lasers. And I don't like that. So we tr will try to be on top of the screen because at the moment she can't hit us except for with normal attacks. Which she sometimes combines. But on all this is uh, a really straightforward fight. Nothing uh, difficult here. I'm really surprised how uh, well this uh, game uh, looks. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's a homebrew game. And it was released in 2009. So uh, it was worked on for, I think, uh, some years. Uh, I'm not sure how much exactly. Well, I'm actually close to that. Oh, there. There we go. Uh, it was worked on for quite a while. And yeah. It's really detailed, and especially for an Atari Lynx, uh, this really showcases what the Atari Lynx could have done if other developers went out of their way. Yeah, because it's a bit of an uh, obscure uh, console as far as I'm aware. Yeah, it uh, it's came out before the Game Boy actually did, but maybe it was a bit too, too far ahead of the time, or bad marketing on the side of uh, Atari. I mean, the only impact it made is by just slamming the console on someone's uh, head. It's uh, yeah, quite it's a heavy brick you have to Yeah, it. it's not uh, that light. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is already the, the first uh, stage done. It was quite straightforward. 
Um, Reshla, you have the background story. Yes, I do, <laughs> and we have multiple parts of the story, so this will be the first part of the story. <laughs> so I hope you guys are ready for it. A long time ago, actually in the late 1890s, a new program called a new program called Rarity 9 was showcased in beta form, promising significantly enchanted meta. Uh, Mathematical <laughs> performance on the aging 6500-02 CPU. Its results were overwhelming, in fact rivaling current co supercomputers. Who thought such immense power could be harnessed from such elementary hardware? Yes, that was the first part. I just took an intentional death. Uh, it makes some stations a lot easier to just be at full health. And it allows me uh, to damage boost a, a bit through uh, bosses. Which obviously makes it faster because then we can use the back blaster. And this level is a bit annoying to get uh, a life upgrade on, so... If you game over, uh, you do lose uh, your stored up uh, life uh, power up, so... I want to be a bit careful with that, but sometimes gaming over, uh, going game over is a lot faster than just having to deal with things. There we go. And here we're going, uh, yeah, we'll get uh, the box swing green, uh, which uh, <laughs> will throw boxes or will shoot lasers. I'm going to hope for boxes because they do the least damage and will just sit inside his body and also hope a bit that he's a bit forward because otherwise we can't hit the back blaster. Right, there he goes. Nice. Really well done. <laughs> and then we'll just fly off in the distance. Poor boxes though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, box. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so again, we're getting in a Ramsha fight. This time it's just a boss fight. We don't get a level in between. So she'll grab you with the hands. You just have to spam the back blaster. I'll just move to the other side already, so that one grabs me already, and then just go ham on her. Do the same thing. Uh, if you're a bit too quick there, you can actually uh, collide with her, and yeah, that will uh, hurt you a lot. This shoot, yeah, sorry, you don't. Now we have to wait for our cycle to be over and slam us into the ground. Normally, if she slams you into the ground, that actually really hurts. This time it doesn't. <laughs> and we're up against the second boss, and I may have enough health actually. I'm just going to go for it. I mean, if I lose a bit of time here because I do die, then so be it. We'll try to position ourselves here, just around his head. Uh, I can just use the backblaster, and he won't punch me. We just wait at the big one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I was fine. Good. Move all the way to the left. And continue on, and he's dead. So, Reshla, second part. Okay, let's go for the second part. <laughs> I don't believe it. For the mini kill, Captain Bran. With this sort of metamethical terror, I can develop license entertainment products at tenfold our speed. By the end of this month, the world will be completely overrun with my glorious, questionable quality software. The seas of corrugated packing material will usher in my new era of pain, suffering and cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ursula. That That sounds like an actual page out of a history book. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> So right here, there's an uh, enemy spawning from both sides. I'm just hitting the back blaster um, on the wave of enemies spawning on the left. So I'll actually kill them off screen. And because I kill them off screen, the health power-ups actually spawn on the right side for some reason. Most likely because I couldn't place it on the left side. So we're just spamming it again. As you can see, like I'm actually killing enemies because there's suddenly a little life uh, upgrade there. And I actually managed to... Uh, I was charging up a shot and I let go too early, so I didn't fully charge. There can only be one um, 
one life upgrade on the screen at the same time. So sometimes I will pick up a life upgrade before pick, picking up, uh, trying to kill another enemy. That was that little wave of enemies. We got some more of these. This time I'll actually wait a bit. Ah, uh, this should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Now we got a mini boss type thing before we get the actual boss, which is the calligraphy squid. Because yeah, I mean, it's a big pencil squid, which makes sense <laughs> because it's a squid. So here as well, we'll take an intentional hit from the uh, ink. As you can see, the ink doesn't do any damage, or barely at least. So we avoid the tentacles. And that's basically how we'll deal with this boss. Take a quick hit, destroy the eye with uh, the back blaster, and go from there. This was one of the uh, damage boosts that the developer itself, himself didn't think would be possible, because he think, thought like, hey, the eye would be closed uh, too often. Uh, that managed to work out. <laughs> Luckily for me, because otherwise, yeah, there's a consistent strat that you can do. Um, because there will only be three ink blobs at once, so if you are close at first and then far away at second, you can easily avoid them. But this is a lot easier. So we'll get to uh, everyone's favorite stage, which is an underwater stage. Not that, like it matters much when it's a shoot 'em up, but yeah. You know, it's still a bit of a slower stage than uh, normal. So, Rashla, you can just go to uh, part three. Well, I hope you uh, guys at home still remember what happened before. <laughs> I'm not going to say it again, but um, here we go. With that, Bran rolled onto his back and crackled insanely before issuing the order that would seal the fate of the free world forever. Fingering bros, give me that beta now! <laughs> I shall conquer everything with the power of Rarity 9. No one will be able to stop me. <laughs> Thank you, oh nice. Excellent. <laughs> wow. Good lore. Yeah, th this, is, uh, this is great. I'm glad to ask you to do this. <laughs> the guy should become a voice actor, in my opinion. Yeah, he should, yeah. As you can see, uh, during this level, um, there's a lot of uh, jellyfish here, and jellyfish actually do uh, damage, so... But they don't actually count as uh, enemies within the wave. Uh, I just had to take damage there because I was completely surrounded. Um, other than that, there's uh, the little uh, ink... I'm not even sure what they are. Um, they have a name. The fossil-like uh, creatures. They, they do count as a wave, they take quite a few hits. Um, um, yeah, they move incredibly slowly. Omanite? Oh. Omanite, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> They're not Pokemon though, not Pokemon Omanite. So here we just lose the clapping shield again. This one should hit most of it, otherwise uh, it won't kill. There we go. We got the uh, Aramsha fight again. I'm just going to use the little health upgrade that I got in between. And this one is incredibly annoying because with one arm she will try to suck you in and the other arm will either use this big uh, blast or it will use uh, multiple small blasts. You want the arm to be, uh, that sucks you in to be close and like this because then you don't get moved around too much and you can use the back blaster to do some massive damage. Oh, and I actually wanted to go for it there but... This is also a great one. We just move into Aramsha. And now we have to be a bit careful because I can't take that much more damage. If at all. It means that uh, during the last uh, last boss of the stage I'll just take a damage boost and die. <laughs> because then I'll be full health again. Because the next boss will require quite a few uh, hits to... Uh, yeah, a damage boost to... Uh, yeah get through it. So we'll just wait here. So it takes a little while. I have to say the animation of all the enemies are great. Yeah, there was a lot of work put in the, into this and I really like how uh, the game turned out. But <laughs> since it was released in 2009 as a bootleg, or bootleg, a homebrew, um, there were only 400 copies made. Uh, which isn't that many. <laughs> Um, and you managed to get it? Uh, eventually, uh, because when I got into collecting 
some Atari Lynx stuff again and finding out that it is actually streamable with the setup that I have. Um, uh, there was a re-release, but I was too late with signing up for it. Luckily, a few copies actually got into uh, yeah, free sales, basically, and I did manage to get one. It was more expensive than it normally would have been, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. It was always advertised like, uh, from people uh, online like, hey, this is one of the best Atari Lynx games uh, out there. So I figured like, I may as well try it. And then it, uh, I tried to uh, speedrun it, or I did buy it with intention to speedrun it because, hey, it's uh, shoot 'em up. But finding out all these uh, cheese threads, I made it uh, speedrunnable. So here we are. <laughs> Well, we're just going into the next uh, stage of this. I'll just take a quick death again, so rush like and go into stage uh, number four. Yes, it's uh, time for uh, part four. <laughs> so I hope you guys at home are ready. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> no different voices in this part. Aww. Aww. <laughs> it was only a matter of time before Rarity 9 disappeared and a deluge of brand system licensed software poured into stores. The world seemed doomed to what in a pit of unsold video games. But in all his plump luxury, Brand had forgotten about one person. Zaku. Dun dun dun. Yeah, we don't want to uh, live in a world with uh, a lot of janky games, do we? Actually, I do. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, bad games. Go on. I think I killed that one off screen. Uh, no, I didn't. That was a shame. I just did the hit. This is a bit of a slower part uh, of the stage. These rockets, yeah, I mean, they damage you, but it's not like they are a threat. I, just I mean, it's just a matter of dodging them, right? Yeah, and it's not like it's a difficult one to dodge. Yeah, it's really no rocket science. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, I knew what I was getting into. Uh, if I you on the couch. <laughs> so two more of these rockets, uh, <laughs> three more of the balloons with the uh, spike balls on it, and now we get a uh, little mini balls. So we are charging out the clapping shield. Oh, and I miss it. There we go. Still died. And here we have. Uh, the balls, t -t troast, <laughs> which is a, <laughs> a toaster. <laughs> Better not switch me. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, the puns are great in this uh, game. Okay, I'm actually waiting a little bit. Oh, there we go. So uh, yeah, we just have to flip the switch uh, so that the body co uh, comes out, and then we'll burn the toast. Time. Ah. I, was, I was waiting for the little toast to, to take damage boost. And now the toast burns, so yeah. Yeah, that's okay. quite the roast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we and roast quite, that and, and, and quite the burn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, no one likes uh, burnt bread. I'll actually take a death here. Last time that I ran this at uh, BSG, I didn't do it. And I died near the end of the stage, so that was uh, fun. May as well do it now. This uh, stage is incredibly annoying because you only have half of the screen. Um, ship you see below Saku actually blocks your movement, so you have to deal with half of the screen. Have to deal with um, the little penguins on the bottom, which aren't a big issue, but uh, once they get close to you, they'll start jumping, and you'll have to deal with these beams uh, blocking your uh, yeah your path, your screen as this. I'm just going to wait there, sit here. Uh, the little bomb guys that. Uh, come into the screen will actually drop the bomb the mom, uh, at the position you were at when they spawned. So now they'll drop the bit in front and that way you can easily avoid it. Ah. See, in this case you just get completely blocked by everything happening on the screen. This should be fine, yeah, there we go. And one more wave of penguins. And then we got the big penguin which spawns penguins because yeah, why not? Accidentally set in that. Yeah, that's scary. Okay, there we go. Got more penguins. Actually, shot that a little bit early. It doesn't really matter too much. 
Okay, the clapping shield can also backfire. Like, it can fail. Luckily, it didn't in this case. Uh, normally, the first one is free. The first one uh, will always fire uh, that you use in the stage. But the second one will likely not... Yeah, fail at it. Okay, this is the attack that I wanted. The little orbs uh, don't do as much damage. Oh, okay, I'll actually... Okay, there we go. I missed one hit there. <laughs> but uh, luckily, I killed enough enemies uh, in between to get a little health boost. Quite close on health. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, scary. And I will take a quick death in this stage. And this stage, I was... Practicing a bit earlier, and I think I found this cheese strat. I'm just going to try it. I mean, why not? not? There we go. He just rammed us. And for an entire Link's game, the music is also great. Mm -hmm. I really, uh, I really like the production value behind this game. Okay, so I'm just going to sit up here, and if I'm correct. There we go. He'll mostly fire rockets now. Normally he will fire spike balls. And he may still do it uh, at a random pattern at one point, but I hope not. There we go. I mean, th this is just such minor dodging that it's the best thing you can get. Like, you can just keep firing him at him. I'll actually swap up my movement. Attacks. This one won't hit me either. It's only the random firing uh, spike balls that he can do that will hit me. So yay. Yay for cheese strats. Okay, th this is the one that will actually hit me. But it doesn't really matter because uh, on the next stage we want to take an intention of that anyway. And in the end, for this uh, boss it doesn't really matter whether you just hold uh, quick fire or whether you'll go for uh, the charge shot because the only time the charge shot will be good will be in this stage. I'm surprised how much health this boss got. Yeah, the, uh, you, because it's a score attack game, um, you can actually watch the score and estimate where you are in this. Uh, normally the score will accumulate uh, based on your progress, but since I'm taking intentional deaths, my score gets reset and will make it a lot easier to uh, Wait, you know what? I'll just do this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I want to take a death anyway, so... I was... Uh, because I took that one hit, I wasn't uh, at high enough health to get through the next boss uh, with the cheese strat. And you don't want to do that uh, boss on normal strat. I never m managed to beat that one normally. So we're entering the brand level. The level stage. And uh, while I'm taking a death, uh, Rashla, can you do the last part? Of course I can. Uh, I hope you guys are ready for this. <laughs> Furiously shaking her fist at one of Brent's camera droids, Saku shouted, This beta was mine, Brent! And I'll get it back no matter what the cost! You didn't pay the license... licensing... License <laughs> <laughs> licensing me and definitely violated the EULA! I, I thought I had some stupid reasons to save the world before, but this takes the cake! Brad responded conceitedly. Ho ho ho! You think you can scare me? This is no ordinary program. It's a rarity nine. The pure scarcity alone will repel you with its massive aura of fan message boards and erroneous Wikipedia articles. <laughs> Come and get it. Come and get it if you dare. <laughs> <laughs> and that was all of the story, folks. I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> Thank you, Rashla. Can we, get, can we get a round of applause for that amazing yeah. voice work he did? I mean, I have to wait here anyway, so... <laughs> Literally, best story ever, ever. <laughs> amazing. Okay, so now we get uh, the final Ramsha. Um, this one I'm going to do my best in cheesing as well. There's a pattern that you can uh, play it as. And she does a lot of damage in this case. Um, and she can only be... Oh, I shouldn't have started attacking her. 
Okay, let's make it around uh, 300 here, because uh, normally I base my progress on the score, and uh, normally I don't attack uh, during that. So she'll start attacking, and now this is the uh, part that you can actually damage. Oh, we have to stay up here. And we did about 670 damage, uh, which is pretty, pretty good. I recently got this uh, going um, more consistently that I'm actually doing a lot of damage and I should be able to two cycle her now. Let's hope. No, uh, let's uh, go for the uh, three cycle then. So we wait up here. She'll fire fireballs up and we hopefully will kill her now. No, I think I need one, one or two more hits. There you go. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it's technically possible to two cycle her, but uh, before I think when I ran this at BGC before I had to take like uh, seven eight cycles. This little personal touch uh, from the developer. Uh, he has Turkish roots, and basically it means like uh, you don't understand. You you don't understand. We don't understand. No. Apparently. Uh, <laughs> I. I didn't really understand that first either, but uh, I noticed it was Turkish, so I <laughs> looked it up. <laughs> and now I understand. You do? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so here I take a, I take a quick death. Because, yeah, it's the first two... Uh, this is a little boss rush. Uh, the first two bosses are really predictable, and I'm trying to uh, get in a, cer a certain pattern so that... Uh, we can damage them as much as possible while being safe. But the uh, third boss actually isn't. And the third boss may be recognized by people. So this will be fun. Let's sit here. <laughs> Just start firing. Uh, normally, uh, when you do a charge shot, um, it deals damage for every part that, of the shot that's uh, inside the enemy. So with bigger enemies, it does more damage. Mm -hmm. But these enemies are quite small, as you can see. This is uh, Tao. Uh, he was supposed to be... Uh, he, it's also a creation of um, the developer. He wants to make a game out of that, uh, but that was never released. But I do really like the artwork of this, so... Out of these... Nah, it's, it's not my favorite, because my favorite is... Uh, on a bird. And he will do his uh, leg shenanigans here as well. I mean, he's basically the better Rayman. <laughs> <laughs> and this is also why I want uh, to have life here, because <laughs> he will fire incredibly randomly. I was just checking to see if the Rayman community wasn't there to kill, to try and murder you. <laughs> For remarks like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong. <laughs> oh, and now I have to redo the old fight. <laughs> so that's uh, that's a bit of a shame. <clears throat> So, Rashla, if you have anything else to talk about. Uh, well, I can uh, explain a few things about uh, us. Uh, we are the Benelux Speedrunner Gathering. We organize bi-monthly gatherings in the Benelux for speedrunners. We're currently streaming 
our annual event live from host Hotel Estavia in Van Rij, the Netherlands. And we are actually raising money for the Dutch Cancer Society, which is a nationwide organization committed to fight cancer while aiming for more cure and a higher quality of life for those already battling the disease. All of your donations will go to the Dutch Cancer Society. Thank you. Estelle and now Alman Marie. Yep. I mean, these two are pretty easy. Um, like that, that's not going to be the issue. It's just that plot can be incredibly brutal. It's most likely to be. because yeah, I don't know. I mean, I like this game. I don't know why he's attacking me. I played Flock a lot as a kid, so I I generally like it. I mean, it's not difficult, but I kind of have to admit that I don't know the Flock games <laughs> either. Th there's only one. Yeah, it's Super Nintendo. Yeah, Super Nintendo. Yeah, never played it. I mean, if you want to uh, play the better Rayman. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll survive if I walk out of this room now. Oh yeah, we do. We got a 5 euro donation from the Xterra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> saying, oh, no. Hey Linkermeister, I beat your quick and crash time. Money goes towards all melons, of course. <laughs> Phew! <laughs> he didn't notice it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was for a second I thought he was uh, gonna lynch you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I like Rayman as well, though. He's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm tempted to take a quick death here. As you noticed earlier, like, um, as you can see, that's, that's half your health and damage. Um, at the previous boss, uh, it tried to load uh, a fourth boss, but lu luckily it couldn't. Alright, and this is uh, normally the run killer. Like, Block is one of them, but the other one is um, mostly the in-between fights that come uh, that up will appear here. So here, uh, Bran will come with in a huge robot you carrying a big uh, Atari Lynx, as you may have noticed. Yeah. He's so proud, I mean, look at him. He has an Atari Lynx, it's great. I guess you'll uh, give him a tra transformation into Bran the Broken. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Yeah, Game of, <laughs> Game of Thrones doesn't really combine well with this game, I agree. Uh, I don't think it matches too well. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we keep shooting his, uh, his Atari links. And this is uh, Yatter, the first of the mini bosses. Uh, he'll spawn these big balls. And, oh, okay, the first one goes straight ahead, second one down, that means the next one is up. And that pattern will uh, continue on. So I'm just going to.
which is the more annoying one. That's basically a robot Saku. And he can do either the clapping shield, uh, the charge shot, or the uh, quick shot. And I'm hoping he won't do the quick shot because quick shot is incredibly dangerous. And it doesn't really have a tell. So that's why I may be moving a bit specifically because I don't trust it. There he goes. Like it fires incredibly quickly and it's generally the thing that I would normally get hit by. For uh, that tour I need to be at uh, about 70,900, uh, so I still have a way to go. <laughs> yeah, that, that, this, that, this, why that fight, this fight is so incredibly scary. I'm just trying to bait him into uh, a corner so that I have enough space to move, especially if he uses uh, his quick shots. This is incredibly scary. And if I die here, like, there's so much time loss. I'm not making it better on myself by telling that, I think. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Okay, so well last done. phase of run. Let's uh, not die here now. I'm just going to take it incredibly safe. Close. Should be getting close to Brad. Okay. <sighs> well done. Well done, yeah. Oh, that was incredibly nerve wracking. <laughs> Now uh, we get tossed into another dimension, and I'll just take a quick that because yeah, my life is not great. Um, I'm going to give you a fair warning here. If you have any problems with, uh, or if you're sensitive to light and such, you may want to look away during this boss fight uh, because uh, the further I get into the boss fight, the more the game will glitch. And it's intentional, like it's basically you're in on another dimension and by damaging the uh, boss, you're basically distorting the dimension and it will get flashy, so... Uh, there you go. <laughs> and this is uh, the unnamed final boss. Um, he does officially have a name, at least the developer gave him a name, but it's never marked anywhere, so I'm just going to keep it as that. Yeah, we'll get welcomed. And Rarity 9 evolved into Rarity X. As you can see, like, it's no longer controllable. And we're now in that dimension, and, yeah. This guy is corrupted. He cannot allow this. So, we'll destroy him. At first, he'll be relatively easy, like, he'll have a tell by raising his arm, like, hey, I'm going to shoot. That's only for the first phase. The second phase, he won't have a tell anymore. And with all the flashing going on, it will get uh, really messy quickly. I can take two hits during this fight. Uh, after that, I'm dead. So, let's not get hit here already. Okay, that's the first phase. And now, as you can see, we'll get to see hitboxes and everything. The, the whole uh, level will become unstable. And he'll immediately fire now. Okay. And he'll fire these quick balls. He, wow. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> everything is going to get corrupted. At the end of the game, the score and everything is also corrupted. So, and I'm okay. That, that's the attack I'm hoping for because it's a lot easier to dodge uh, on short notice than the quick firing balls. So we just uh, going here. You can. Uh, manipulate the balls a little bit by moving a little bit up and down. Like if I'm moving upwards, I'm uh, generally uh, making sure that the balls also move upwards, making it a lot easier to dodge. And yeah, here we go. So the more corrupted this gets, the further he's, uh, the closer he is to dying. So just um, start getting ready on time. It will get a bit worse <laughs> when we go. 
as you can see. Whoa. <laughs> and it's still get incredibly laggy because of it. But uh, yeah, he's almost dead. So get ready. On. And time. GG. Oh, rip. <laughs> ah, ah, wait, wait. Ah, my connection. Okay. Bringing it back. There it is. There we go. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's corrupting my cartridge, what's this? <laughs> oh, the game strikes back. Okay. Oh. The corruption that's currently on screen, this one, is intended. Just... <laughs> 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 okay, I'm just holding the power, but it may be that the cables are getting intertwined here. <laughs> all right, uh, yeah, that was Saku. Uh, thank you for all for watching this. Uh, thanks to PSG for having this game. Thanks for the Meister Couch. And we'll have an uh, incredible Meister block uh, upcoming, so uh, oh, yeah. there's that. Uh, yeah, thanks, uh, of course, to the developer and for also thinking along. And uh, because I inf asked around a bit for them as well, like, uh, hey, I I'm trying to speedrun this. Um, am I missing out on something? Uh, and he was really helpful, actually. Um, yeah, some, some of the strategies uh, that came from it, uh, he didn't expect. So uh, that's the most fun, of course. Yeah, as you uh, can see, it is not over. Everyone survived. Somewhat. Dreams never die. And Saku will eventually find uh, the last cartridge, uh, the last disc of Rarity 9. But I think we're uh, a bit over the uh, schedule at the moment, so uh, we can just cut it from here, honestly. <laughs> Let's get going with the rest of the Meister block. Thank you. Well, thank you, Grumpmeister, for that amazing Zaku run. So up next, we have the second part of our Meister block with Boxmeister, who is going to do Metroid Spooky Mission. So please stay tuned. But first, we will play some ads.